Okay, I'm here at the 2022 Farnborough Air Show and one of the most exciting projects on this show is a, a new hypers UK hypersonic project on the reaction engine stand. Uh, I'm here with Head of Future Projects. That's right. Uh, Dr. Robert Bond from Reaction Engines. That's great, yeah. Uh, Robert, what is this amazing shape all about? Okay, well let me just explain. So this is part of a program we call a hypersonic uh, air vehicle uh, experimental program, or HVX for sure, and that's a program where we're looking at uh, some of the technologies associated with hypersonic uh, uh, air vehicles, essentially. And in particular, the, the engine concept itself, the engine technology that ne is necessary in that to, uh, to uh, accelerate the vehicle to high, high speed. And by high speed, I mean, you know, uh, in the sort of Mach 4, Mach 5 uh, region typically. So this is a concept vehicle. Uh, and what we're trying to do with this is understand what the key elements of the technology are. As I say, the engine is, a, is a, an important part of it, and we're utilising our uh, reaction engine's uh, capability in thermal management in combination, that is heat exchanges, in combination with Roger Royce's gas turbine technologies to develop a, a, a power plant, an engine, that will be capable of accelerating this vehicle up to, to high speed. And that's what the SSX program, the first stage will be a, an experimental uh, uh, vehicle, something where we can just test out the, uh, the technology. And, and this isn't, uh, this is obviously you haven't got a cockpit here, it's not piloted, so this is, really a, a, this is a sub -scale, scale sort of demonstrator. Yeah, so this, this is an this is a, um, uncrewed aerial vehicle, UAV yeah. if you like, uh, and that's what the, the, the aim of this is really, because once you start to have a crewed vehicle, it becomes much more uh, complex, there's, you know, light support systems and stuff like that, so we want something as simple as possible. It's also quite small as well, so it's typically nine metres or so in length. A relatively small uh, device, um, somewhat smaller than a small aircraft, but, okay. but nevertheless still a substantial uh, uh, device in its own right. And what, what would be the potential mission for, for this for this kind of? I mean, obviously this is a concept demonstrator. What, what is the what is the kind of a, a potential well, on, mission? On, on, so, so part of this is, is, is obviously this stage to develop the, the technology. Now, there's, there's a number of defence uh, missions that you can see and, and uh, Gulf has envisaged and, and, and obviously a lot of those are classified and can't really come there but uh, you can imagine that if you have the ability to uh, travel very fast at high speed, go a certain distance, you know, do some stuff, whether it's observation or whatever, and come back again, there are, there are probably many missions that are uh, of value from a defensive point of view. And how significant is this for, for the UK? Because we hear a lot about uh, the US doing hypersonics, hypersonics in China, hypersonics with the Russia. Um, so this is the UK's first hypersonic flight test program, is that right? Uh, I guess in principle, if you, if you go back into the, into the past, <laughs> for a day, and also you know, there are missile programs which also travel hypersonically, so I'd, I'd be a little bit cautious about <laughs> saying absolutely <laughs> But this is important, and one of the aims of this, this program that we're, we're doing is, is to develop uh, um, kind of uh, an element of leadership in the UK, so develop the UK as a, as a leader in hypersonic uh, uh, air vehicle technology and flight capability. And I think that's quite important. And that's why we're working with our, our partners, the uh, uh, Royal Air Force, with um, uh, Rolls-Royce and with the uh, uh, Government Defence Labs, the STL, and other companies as well, to, to sort of broaden this sort of um, capability within the UK. And obviously the, the key question, when when might it fly? Well, that, and that's a, that's a difficult question. It obviously funding funding permitted, um, but we, we plan to have something flying around about mid-decade. Wow. So, so that's, I guess, around three years' time. Or so. Thank you. Thanks very much for your time. You're welcome.